Today on Judge Faith. After moving into a new apartment, this woman bugged out. The house was infested with cockroaches. Literally, there was 5,000 cockroaches coming out of the cabinets in the kitchen. But who was the one behind all this bed bug bedlam? 13 years I owned the house, I never saw or had a complaint on him. So what do you think, she brought the bed bugs with uh, her? Yes, I do. And later, the bugs wreak havoc. I have three children. They had to go to school in the same clothes for four weeks. <sighs> Had there been a problem with cockroaches in the home? I never heard of it, no. Faith Jenkins. Her distinguished legal career began when she graduated first in her law school class. She quickly became a tough New York City prosecutor and then a preeminent legal analyst on cable news. And now she's the judge in her own courtroom. Her cases are real and her rulings are final. She is Judge Faith. Plaintiff Stephanie Carroll says that after moving into a new apartment, she quickly discovered that the property was infested with cockroaches and bed bugs. She's seeking $3,500 for the security deposit, exterminator fees, and the loss of property. Defendant Luce Marie Chavez says that the property she owns was pest free and that the plaintiff brought the bugs with her. She's countersuing for damages. Remain seated and come to order. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Faith Jenkins presiding. Your Honor, this case we have Carroll versus Serrano Chavez. Thank you, Barbara. Mm -hmm. Stephanie Carroll? Yes. You are suing the defendant Luz Marie Chavez for $3,500 for exterminator fees, loss of property, and the return of your security deposit? Right. And you are countersuing, ma'am, for $1,840 for a judgment you say she has not paid and also for damages and repairs? That is correct. Okay, we'll start with you, Ms. Carroll. Tell me how you first met the defendant and how did you come to learn that she was leasing property? My kids and I were looking online for a place to rent and it looked pretty nice and, you know, small and quaint. Um, I went ahead and, and told her how much would I need to move in and she said $1,000 mm -hmm. for a deposit. And I said, okay. And so you paid a $1,000 security deposit. Yes, I did. Did you sign a lease? And I signed a lease. Was it a one-year lease? One-year lease, Do you have yeah. a copy of that? I do. May I see it, please? Sure. And what was the agreed-upon monthly rent? Um, it was $950. Okay. There you go. Thank you. And so what month and year did you move in? Um, it was towards the end of March, and the lease was supposed to start April 2013. Okay. So you moved in, and who lived in the home with you? Um, my three children. I have a 16-year-old son, a 14-year-old daughter, and a 9-year-old boy. This is a home that you own? This is a home that I own for 13 years. And had someone else previously leased this property before she moved in? Yes. Okay, and how many tenants had you had before her? I said about three or four. So how many years have you leased this property total? I have, I think I leased it for about eight or nine years. Okay, go ahead. So, in other words, I, I went ahead and put the deposit down, but then I had some issues in the house, and when I first moved in, um, the house was infested with cockroaches when I first moved in, because when I woke up in the morning, like my first night there, literally there was 5,000 cockroaches coming out of the cabinets in the kitchen. Mm. I mean, there was dead roaches in the refrigerator, frozen to the refrigerator And door. you didn't see that before you no, moved no, in? No, 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 I didn't. They only came out... When the lights went I, off at night. Exactly. So... Had there been a problem with cockroaches in the home? I had never heard of it. The first day that she was there, did you hear from her shortly after no. she moved in and hear a complaint about no. cockroaches? Yeah, I, I did, I, I did. Did you make it in writing or was oh, it a verbal? Yeah, I, I told her on the phone first and then I, I thought about it. I'm like, you know what, maybe I should document this. Mm -hmm. So I went ahead and sent her an email. She told me, oh yeah. Did you get the email? I got an email, yeah. yes. Okay. Yeah. So therefore, um, I told her, look, we got to do something about this. She said, well, um, let's do home remedy stuff. She said, boric acid will get rid of them. And so I said, okay, you know what, I'll be willing to try that. So. I, I didn't want to cost her more money. I didn't want to, you know, have to spend money, you know. So boric acid for 5,000 cockroaches <laughs> yeah. works? Right. Who told it you that? Like she's exaggerating. I was there how, for how do you know? two weeks and I never saw one. 
I was Were you there at it. night? I Thank was you. actually there cleaning it and the whole deal, drawers and everything. I never saw one. So you think she's lying that she has yes, 5,000 yes. cockroaches? Yes, You don't is. think she had cockroaches? There <laughs> might be a couple, but I, 5,000 is like, you will see them everywhere. And like I said, okay. I was there um, to clean it and I did not see a single bug in the house. Okay, all right, go ahead. I, I did take pictures also and I, I sent them via text message to her. Uh, did you get photos? Nope, I did not. Yeah. Okay, so, and then I was like, okay, so I went ahead and um, worked with her because, you know, I had just moved my children. As a single mother, I, I just moved my kids into this house. I said, I have to make it work. And um, about two months, three months later, I started getting a rash and my little ones started getting a rash all over our bodies. And I have videos if you'd like well, to see. Well, tell me what was going on. Well, I, look at um, your I, I went to the doctor because of the rashes. And I'm like, okay, well, what could it be? I know um, the doctor said, well, I think you should probably check your beds. And I'm like, okay. So went home, mm -hmm. checked our beds, and I swear to you, there's thousands in, and I'm not exaggerating, <laughs> bugs in our beds. Bed bugs? Bed bugs. Mm -hmm. And with these bed bugs, I mean, they were big, so they had been feeding for a while. And these are brand new beds that I had just, you know, gotten not too long before I moved in. I mean, it had to be about six months, but however, <sighs> So I went ahead and did a video. Did she tell you about the bed bugs? She sent me an email and she said, Luz, I have bed bugs. I go, I have never seen bed bugs in the house either. 13 years I owned the house, I never saw or had a complaint on them. So um, it took up three months for her to notice that she had bed bugs. Then I go, okay, so find an exterminator. And she did. She found someone from her church. And I go, I'll pay so for it. So what do you it. think she brought the bed bugs with her? I, yes, I do. Mm -hmm. I do believe that she brought him in. Coming up on Judge Faith, the plaintiff's drastic decision. I had to take everything to the dump, which was about 24,000 pounds of furniture. All of our dressers, all of our clothes. And later, just who is responsible for the bed bug barrage? The first day that she was there, did you hear from her shortly after no. she moved in and hear a complaint about no. cockroaches? And I have a letter from her own uh, exterminator stating that she brought him in. Plaintiff Stephanie Carroll says that after moving into a new apartment with her three children, she discovered the apartment already had tenants, bed bugs and cockroaches. Defendant Luz Marie Chavez says the apartment was perfectly fine before the plaintiff moved in. Wait, did the boric acid work on the 5,000 cockroaches? No, no. But her and her husband went ahead and went to the dollar store and got some bug spray. And so they put roach motels with my dishes, with my food. And I was like, okay, well, this is kind of awkward, having roach motels on my countertops. So in order to document the bed bugs, you made a report to her. And yes, then I you did. took video. As soon as I bugs. found out. Okay, yeah. let me see the video. Oh, that's just a little bit. <laughs> what is this? What are they on? The, these are in between my box spring and the fabric in between the box spring. So, and that's wow. just, that's just the ones that you can see. Mm -hmm. Literally, some of these bed bugs, they're like see-through, like you can't even see them when they're at the infant stages. Did you ever call anyone to have the place professionally treated for the bed bugs? Yes. Okay, oh. when did you do that? Uh, when she told me that she had bed bugs, because I had never heard of that before. I she called. called her own person, and they came and, and they sprayed about Five or six times. And who paid yeah. for that? Me. Well, actually, I, I paid for them mm -hmm. at first because she wasn't there. So I had to pay for it with my own money, and then she would reimburse me back with my rent. So did you? are you out of pocket for exterminator fees? Uh, yes, I am, actually. How is that? Well, because I told her in email also that I need to leave. This is too much for right. me. And I said, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to break this lease. What month was that? Um, the end of August, September 2013. Okay, and so you tell her you want to break the lease. And she was like, okay, well, if you don't like the conditions, you move out, you find another place. I said, okay, um, that's good. I said, uh, here's my 30-day notice, I found another place. I said, I do not want to take these bugs with me when I go. I had to throw away all of our belongings, 
but I got to keep some things because the bug company said that they could salvage some of it if they treated it and if I left it outside in the heat for four weeks. Wow. Um, however, it didn't work and the bug company that we used at her house was not good enough because when I did move, I treated all my stuff before I moved into the new house because I didn't want another problem right. at the new house. And did you have a problem at the new house? No, I, well, I, I did after. And it was probably three weeks after I moved in, mm -hmm. um, I noticed there was one crawling on me on the couch. So I immediately got rid of everything. I had to take everything to the dump, which was about 24,000 pounds of furniture. All of our dressers, all of our um, clothes, all of our furniture. What is this? Oh, that is my son's, one of my son's shirts. Was this after or before you moved? Um, that was after I moved. And that is one bed bug on our bed. After you moved? Nope, that was while we were there. And those are the feces right there of the bugs. After they feed, they leave feces and stuff like that. This is what I had to do. This is my new house. What I had to do, and even at her house also, I had to put all of our stuff in bags like that for over four weeks, okay? I have three children. They had to go to school in the same clothes. Sorry. For four weeks. Are you telling me that you never had a problem with bed bugs no, in this home? Not mm -hmm. with any of the tenants that I had. And we put bombs just in case for spiders or roaches or whatever. I spend at least uh, fifty dollars at Home Depot for bed bugs, oh, bombs 50 and stuff. While yeah. while the, the house was empty. Yeah. I even told her, you know, I just bombarded the whole house before she moved case. in. But, I, but before I said, she moved in, yes. Stop. Sorry. Hold on a second. So before she moved in, you said just in case. Just in case. You bombed the entire house. That is correct. But you didn't have I never any saw knowledge one in the house. that there I were never. bed bugs or cockroaches. But That's you were right. just bombing to be on the safe side. On the safe side, okay. just in case. Right. She brought him in, and I have a letter from the uh, her own uh, exterminator stating that she did not do what she was supposed to do, and she also brought him in. Oh, from how does another he, so place. the exterminator told, sent you a letter and said that she brought the bed bugs in from that another place. Correct. Let me see oh, the letter. Oh, sure. Oh, oh gosh. Oh. Would you bring that to me, please, Barbara? <laughs> this letter does not state that she was the source of the bed bugs in your home. It does say that. She Show me where it says it on the letter. Okay. You don't see it? No, it says in the letter saying that uh, she must have brought him in. Well, we're going to take our time. I want you to find it. Likely brought him with her, right here, on this paragraph. So here's what the letter actually states. It actually, this. And by the way, this isn't notarized or certified or anything like that, uh, but I'll accept it for the purposes of this. It says here, the exterminator from this company wrote, she more than likely brought them, referring to the bed bugs, with her if they weren't there before. If they weren't there before. Now I understand, Ms. Carroll, that you have contact information for a prior person yes. who lived in the defendant's home? Yes. Can you please write that contact information oh. down and provide it to the court? Sure. Barbara, would you hand that to yes, me, sure. please? Thank you. Thanks. Ma'am, were you and your family also bidden by these bugs? Oh, absolutely. And, and you have a photo of that as well? I do. I have plenty. It? I have a lot of photos. That is one rash, and that is on my leg. What do you have to say about that? The, those pictures don't prove anything. There could be mosquitoes. So what we're going to do, I'm going to take a recess. I'm going to contact the person who Why lived in this the phone. Excuse me. We're going to take a recess. I'm going to contact someone who lived in this home prior to Miss Carol moving in. We'll brief recess. Coming up, Judge Faith digs deeper. I spoke to someone who lived in your home prior to the plaintiff moving in. 
Is there anything you want to change about your testimony today when you told me you never had a report about bed bugs in your home? I say that and I continue saying that, yes. Plaintiff Stephanie Carroll says that she was overrun by thousands of cockroaches and bed bugs in her new apartment. Defendant Luce Marie Chavez says that she never had a single complaint from any of her other tenants. The bugs only appeared after the plaintiff moved in. Court is once again in session. I spoke to someone who lived in your home prior to the plaintiff moving in. Okay. Is there anything you want to change about your testimony today when you told me you never had a report about bed bugs in your home? I say that and I continue saying that, yes. Okay, great. And I'm going to tell you you're a liar. And from the looks of things, you're a slumlord too. No. Because I spoke to a prior tenant who lived in the home right before she moved in. I also have a sworn statement from the tenant. Not only did he say he had bed bugs when he lived there, he said it's the reason he moved out, ma'am. And you were notified on numerous occasions about the bed bug problem. No. So how do you, in your moral compass, justify not just coming into court and perjuring yourself here today, but renting your home to a woman with three children knowing it was infested with bugs? Wow. How do you justify that in your moral compass? I cannot know anything about it. If people before they moved out, they almost got evicted and they moved out before because they did not pay the rent before I kicked them out. Second of all, if this person lived in my property and did not notify me in writing, did she give you anything in writing that he, 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 I knew about it? I mean, they did leave some furniture which she wanted and I said, no, I don't want to give it to you. I'm going to throw everything away so later on you will not say that there's... You can stop talking. Stops. Because I think your conduct is reprehensible and I find you to be appalling. Because let me tell you something, in your state, you have duties and responsibilities as a landlord, and it is prohibited for you to lease that home knowing, with knowledge, that there is a problem with bugs, and that is exactly what you did. Your counterclaim is a non-issue. I'm dismissing it in its entirety. Why did you keep her security deposit? Are you kidding me? With all the issues she had in that home, you had the audacity to keep a $1,000 security deposit? Because she didn't pay last month's rent. I have to evict her. You know what? And Guess she what? Did tell the judge she didn't the have same to. Thing about she the didn't have to. The Stop. Judge said. Thank you. Let me tell you something. She didn't actually, it was well within her rights to withhold last month's rent because you breached a warranty of habitability to her. You owe that to her, to every person who lives in your home. And now, Judge Faith rules. Here's what you're going to do. You are going to return her $1,000 security deposit, the $1,000 in exterminator fees, in addition to what she's asking for for loss of property, $1,500. If I could order you to pay her more, I would. I would. It's not that when she reported the bed bugs, I don't think you took it seriously. I think you hid the fact that you knew you had a cockroach problem mm -hmm. and a bed bug problem, and you tried to put in a $50 bomb before she moved in to try to mask it for a couple of months, and it didn't work. So I think you fraudulently induced her to lease this property. Judgment in this case is for the plaintiff, $3,500. <laughs> If you or someone you know has a dispute, don't take the law into your own hands. Let Judge Faith rule on it for you. To submit your case, go to judgefaith.com and tell us your story. See you in court.